Do you know what we haven't had on this channel in a quite a long time? New animal unboxing video. One of these packages contains an animal. Probably not this one. And probably not this one. This one? Probably not this one. This one definitely. So we will save that for last. I will first open these three that I have no idea what they are. As usual when it comes to fan packages and fan letters. And also check out who molted. You know that on Friday we tried to fit Pezzoteria Metallica. Well, this is the reason why she didn't eat. And also you probably saw it on the Instagram. Brahipelma Vagans. Actually, I will show her. You remember how she was weirdly, really weirdly colored when I got her? She was, you will see it on the mold, in case you forgot. She was brown. You see her all mold. Unfortunately, it is on white background, so it kind of... I can use this camera. Kind of brownish coloration, really weird. And now, after her mold, look at this. She looks now how she really should look like, like real Brahipelma Vagans. You see, pitch black, awesome color. Look how deep black this is. Incredible, right? I'm happy that she is all right and that she actually looks like Brahipelma Vagans now. Real beauty and it's funny how people are willing to spend a lot of money on black tarantula, that is Gramostola Pulhara, while on the other hand, Brahipelma Vagans, the most basic tarantula, one of the most basic tarantulas, black with reddish abdomen. And their price is nowhere near Gramostola Pulhara. I mean, Gramostola Pulhara is awesome tarantula, don't get me wrong, but definitely overpriced at the moment. More stickers from Devon from US. Thank you, and next time write me an email so I can answer to your questions there. Hmm, something well protected with a drawing of mantis on top. First two issues of my zine, zine, and from Chicago. Oh, some sort of magazine about mantids. Cool. Mickey Mantid Group Art Show. Thank you, I will take a better look after the video. What the hell? To the dark den. I'm never certain if I should first read the letter or check out the the package. I usually check out the package because I'm not that patient. I can see Dark Den logo. Look at this. Hmm. Let's check the letter. So this one is from Michael and Jenny from Denmark and Jenny actually made this from plastic, plastic beads. She used 9006 beads of five colors to make it. Awesome! And I'm really glad that both of you got into tarantulas and that my videos are helping you with the anxiety and all of that. When I hear stories like that, it really motivates me to just create more because these videos are much more than just videos about my tarantulas and the Dark Den collection. There are now much, much more of that and a lot, and I mean a lot of people, is looking at tarantulas and spiders in general with different perspective after the videos. The effect is really amazing. Thank you for this. I will definitely hang it somewhere. And now the final package and the most fun package for all of you. It is a gift from a subscriber and I actually arranged it a long, long time ago. But as you know, I, I didn't really accept any animals. So I said to this person, the person that sent me this, that she contacts me again after a few months and then I will be ready for it. And I cannot believe, but few months already passed and here we are. Styrofoam box. Before I open it, let me just say from who it is. It is from Nora from Germany. So this is gift from her to all, oops, <laughs> to all of us. Because we all enjoy new stuff. <laughs> is it alive? I sure hope so. Just to make sure that there isn't something else inside. No, just, just ton of paper. Nice package. It looks kind of weird. Let's check it out. Hey, okay, little fella, are you all right? Please tell me that you are all right. Oh, oh, it is alive. It is moving. Look at that. Do you know what this is? 
Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm really not sure what this bug is capable of. But if you don't know, that thing is called, I think I saw the label here. Mm, I cannot read this. There is a receipt here. Lethocerus species, I believe that's how it is pronounced. Common name is water bug or also like toe biter. Toe biter or giant water bug. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yes, that's the thing. Whoa, it's definitely not happy with me. <laughs> it is definitely not happy with me holding it like that. <laughs> okay, we will need some temporary enclosure. As you know, they live in water. They, they are called a water bug for a reason. So what I planned for it. Let me just take it out and show you. You see, this is my standard 30 by 25 by 25 enclosure. And I want to make an enclosure for the water bug out of this. This is the one that is standard for me with 10 centimeters front lid. I mean this front barrier that is for like holding the substrate. And that is a bit too low. Water level would be too low for the water bug. But this enclosure that houses my predatory beetles, Egyptian predatory beetles, is bigger for two centimeters. And I plan to redecorate this enclosure anyway. So what I wanted, I wanted to take out the beetles, put them in some temporary plastic enclosure and fill this with water to check out if it holds water because majority of my enclosures hold the water and I usually test it before just to be sure but I'm not sure if I tested this one so I will need to test it first so let's take this and take all the stuff outside water bugs don't really need filtered water because they don't breathe the actual water I mean they don't have gills like fish or some other some other aquatic animals on their back they have like a siphon that they stick outside of the water and they breathe through that so they are actually breathing the air that is cool feature so that way the water can I mean they can tolerate much more dirtier water but anyway I plan to at least I want to make like a filtered filtered water here this was really cool enclosure and we will make it even more cooler what you are fighting again or actually just a sexy time <laughs> naughty naughty how could i forget about the the roach the lateralis roach the sole survivor of this of this deadly enclosure <laughs> i will leave him in together with the beetles oh, oh, oh no no don't escape no 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 don't escape me now i mean i put the cork bark inside with the roach and then i forgot that he is on the cork bark and I just took the cork bark out. I'm so dumb sometimes. <laughs> when you are recording, you are always thinking about how you are doing everything in front of the camera and you are not really thinking as you should if you weren't recording, if that makes any sense. Trust me, I perform much better when I'm not recording. It stopped recording and I was just talking how I'm not... Yo, oh, oh, never mind. This camera will be the end of me. These videos will probably be the end of me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm enjoying making these videos. But it can be uh, taxing a bit. I think I never handled the beetles. Let's see if they are handable. Or if they will bite me. Guess, oh, guess they are. <laughs> hello, hello. I don't like the way you were looking at me and the roach is under the cork bark even like this the enclosure looks nice and it took me like what three minutes to make it although now i have sand everywhere and where can we dump the rest of the sand in the double bag for now now don't laugh at me if i mess something up please don't fall everywhere so far so good be right back i'm going to rinse this off all right, I rinsed it off, but bad news, everyone. The enclosure is not holding water. It is actually leaking in this corner somewhere. So I definitely need to apply a thick bit of silicone here. I will actually silicone everything. And then it will definitely be waterproof. This is why if you are using water in some, some glass aquarium or glass terrarium, make sure to water test it first because you never know if it can leak somewhere and you definitely don't want to spot the leak once you 
skip everything and set everything up, fill it with water and then just to notice that it is leaking somewhere. Always test first. So that means for now I cannot put the water bag in this because silicon needs some time to cure. So I will just take some plastic tub and we will put it temporarily inside. But in next two or three weeks I will definitely set the whole enclosure and make a video about it. This plastic tub will do for now and we have a bunch of fresh water and even though they swim they need something to hold on, attach themselves and that's why I will put this piece of rock inside. So the rock will be just sitting somewhere in there. Mosquitoes! So let's fill this tub and see how little guy is swimming. Oh, come on, don't spill it everywhere. Now I bet a water dish of this size is exotic slayer wet dream. <laughs> Yeah, that will be more than enough. You definitely need a top lid. Yeah, that will fit. Top lid because they can actually fly. And that means if you don't have top lid, they can easily escape. Let's once again take the little guy outside. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. I'm not sure if you know, but they have really strong, strong bite. And there is actually a Brave Wilderness video where Coyote Peterson, Coyote Peterson got stung by one and it was really painful. Let's see how it swims. Go little fella. Woo! <laughs> oh, he went down immediately. Awesome! So now you can see him down there, he just attached to the rock, but soon enough I guess he will turn and stick his siphon outside to, to breathe air. Awesome, awesome stuff. We need to see a bit more of you. Cool, I won't try to feed it now because I wanted to acclimate to the new environment and I guess in the next video I will also include a feeding clip. Isn't that right, little funny fella? <laughs> I never really thought that I will actually keep one of these. I didn't really know that you can even get them as a pet. But apparently you can do. Thank you Nora for this opportunity and I guess everyone in Dark Den also can thank you for, for this little fella or girl. I don't know the sex. That is probably all the action that we will see today. So we can conclude the video here. Stay tuned for the update and for the new enclosure. And also I will do more detailed care video in that. I mean explain more about them. For now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more there's a Patreon page. If you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye bye.